Welcome to Sense of Style. I'm Stuart, cheap and sexy, just like I like my women. No, not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not really at all. That is how I like my fragrances. It's a hard ask, though. It's very difficult. I have a lot of inexpensive fragrances. Yes, some of them are nice, but it's hard to find inexpensive fragrances that appeal to women that are also kind of sexy date night style fragrances. I managed to scrape together eight. Some of them are fresh, warm weather fragrances as a couple. Most of them are cool weather fragrances just for the time of year, and I just happen to have more. They are sweet and spicy and seductive date night fragrances. Let's get to it. <music> Okay, fragrance number one, this is from the house of Mauboussin, and this is called Une Homme d'Histoire Irresistible. <laughs> and that word salad means the past of an irresistible man, and if that's meant to conjure up images of, like, a lot of sex, I think it is successful. This is a very seductive fragrance. That's what it was designed to be. That's why it has that name, and that's why the perfumer is a woman who also, and actually this fragrance is similar to Ombre Noir by Lalique. Uh, they both have like a fig opening and they have the same perfumer. Her name is Karine de Broy Serini. And uh, she did Gucci Poram too, so she's not just here off the turnip truck. But yeah, this is a very seductive fragrance. A lot of fig and bergamot in the opening. Then there's sort of a powdery sandalwood. Sometimes sandalwood can be very powdery. That's what they're going for here. This is a very powdery fragrance. And then there's cedar in the base. Super seductive. This is similar to Ombre Noir, but about a third the price. I think this is about 35 at the North American discounters. It is very nice. I've got a compliment from it already. It's a good one to think about if you're wanting something cheap, but still good for date night. Number two, now we're going from like very complicated to very simple. This is cool water. Yes, I know it's a 90s fragrance. This was super popular in the 1990s. Let's not overcomplicate things. This is a great fresh fragrance. Seawater and citrus, and there's some lavender in it too. It smells very similar to green Irish tweed. It doesn't have quite the performance and it doesn't really have that iris note. But look, it's proven winner. I think the reason that guys don't do better with fragrances with women is that we get bored with fragrances. It's like, yeah, I don't want to wear that. I've worn that before. And yet this will work better than 90% of what you have in your fragrance. I know I do it too. In your fragrance collection with women, this one really works. This next fragrance is a weird one. I'm warning you. This is Bentley for Men Intense. This is a 15 mil. Now, a year ago, if I had seen somebody make a video and say Bentley for Men Intense was a sexy fragrance, I would have changed channel immediately. I wouldn't have watched anymore. I thought they were doing drugs. This was an absolute toxic waste of a fragrance when I first got it about a year and a half ago. It has changed. The composition of the fragrance has changed significantly. And now I finally understand why people like it so much. I'm not sure if I can suggest you guys get a fragrance, spray it a few times, and then wait a year. But honestly, this is so different than when I got it. When I got the fragrance, it was a toxic mix of rum, leather, and incense. It just completely blew me away. It was not appealing at all. However, in the last year, the toxic brew has decreased considerably and then the cinnamon and the sweetness has risen up and this has turned into something so nice that I put it on and I thought my god this smells a lot like By the Fireplace by Maison Margiela one of my favorite fragrances I went and compared the two it was, that's a bit of an exaggeration this is nowhere near as sweet as it but it's the same kind of idea it's just not quite as much sweetness but that sort of fireplace, the wood burning of the fireplace, you can kind of get a little bit of that here, but it is a lot sweeter than it used to be because all that toxic stuff has kind of come down a little bit. I don't know. I just think it'd be work really well on a date. And the thing that I like about this is it's super inexpensive, but the performance and it's still beast mode performance that hasn't changed. So it's just a lot better of a date night fragrance. Don't forget about that one. This next one's pretty simple, Mont Blanc Explorer. You can still get a 60 mil of this for 37 bucks at the discounters in North America. It is not as strong as Club de Nuit Intense Man, 
But there's a reason this is more expensive than Club de Nuit Intense Man. It's just a better made fragrance. It has better ingredients. They don't uh, lie to you about the ingredients. They admit, Mont Blanc admits that they use bergamot instead of actual pineapple. I don't believe for one second the Club de Nuit Intense. Yes, it's not as powerful, but it's a really well-made fragrance. Mont Blanc are really good at putting out quality, inexpensive fragrances. This is one. I don't think I really need to talk about this one much more. We all know Aventus. We all know it really works well, especially in fresh situations when you're dealing with women. Mont Blanc Explorer. The thing about Mont Blanc and Burberry, this is Burberry, London, by the way. There are two good houses, at least for me, that are going to give you a sort of base level of quality. You're not going to get less than 30 minutes of projection and, and four hours of longevity. I like that. I know that, you know, there are some houses where, you know, it's kind of hit and miss. Burberry's pretty consistent. They have a lot of nice fragrances. Burberry London is definitely, I think, more date nighty than anything else they've got. It's spicy. It's leather, it's tobacco, and it has what's called a Poppinax. That's kind of its secret ingredient here. It is a resin. Normally resins are a little sharp. A Poppinax is a sweeter resin. At least it's the sweetest that I'm aware of. There's a lot of that in here and it mixes with the cinnamon. It's got a really nice sort of sweet and spicy kind of feel. This would definitely work well as a date night fragrance in cool weather. Performance is not beast mode, but it's not bad either. This one is for like teenagers and guys in their early 20s, Mont Blanc Legend Spirit, <laughs> although I do like this. Um, this is similar to Invictus Aqua. It's sea notes and citrus and a little bit of lavender. It has solid performance, you know, that little bit of projection at the beginning, four hours longevity. I've heard people complain about the performance about this. I don't agree. I think the performance has been fine with me. It's not like my skin is fantastic when it comes to fragrances. I do get four hours of this. It's playful. It's bubble gummy. But even though it's sweet, it's fresh enough you can wear in the summer. But generally, this is good for younger guys. They tend to prefer it. Now, this next fragrance, honest to God, every time I go and try it, if I'm doing a video, I'll spray it on. I'll go, damn, I forgot how good this was. I do that all the time. This is a really good fragrance and it's really well made. They knew what they were doing here. They used uh, tobacco and amber. So they, they left the sweetness, they dialed it down a little bit so that the cardamom could come through. It wasn't overpowering sweetness. This is quite spicy. Very, very nice scent. The performance here is also really good for a, for an older Calvin Klein fragrance. Um, you're going to probably, probably a little bit better than the Burberry and the Mont Blancs that I talk about this. But yeah, this is one you'll probably buy, but you'll never wear because you didn't pay much for it. But honestly, the scent here is great. This next fragrance is Probably a little bit more expensive, but it's really worth it. This is Moustache by the House of Rochas. This one's very sweet. There's a lot of vanilla here. There's pink pepper and benzoin, so it's sweet and spicy, but it's very sweet and very spicy. The price tag is a little bit more, but at the same time, so is the performance. The performance here is very good. This is definitely a date nighty style fragrance. It's not going to break the bank. I do think you'll like this. I do think there, if you really look hard, there are some good inexpensive fragrances you can use for a date. This one was a real revelation to me. Um, but yeah, you can, you can do this on a budget. You really can. Take care, guys.